Well, in the middle of 1960s segregation, 12 St. Pete police officers stood up, fought back, and changed the police force forever. Now known as the Courageous 12, their bold pursuit of equality allowed black officers to patrol white neighborhoods for the first time. Those 12 men will now be honored as a new development takes shape in St. Pete. And as News Channel's Travis Sahaki shows us tonight, the last surviving member of the Courageous 12 was on hand to see the new plans. This site right here of the former St. Pete Police Department is going to be the new home of a four-star hotel, the first in the city since the Vinoy in 1926. The first stages of developing the Central are already in motion in St. Pete. The two-acre project will include an autograph collection hotel and thousands of square feet of office, retail, and parking space. Today, city leaders broke ground and unveiled the renderings of a monument to the Courageous 12 that will be constructed on the site. Well, it was a dream come true. I never imagined this would happen. Leon Jackson is the last surviving member of the Courageous 12. When we first filed that lawsuit, we didn't realize what we were getting into. We didn't know we were making history. The 12 were black St. Pete policemen in the 60s who weren't allowed to arrest white people and were forced to patrol black neighborhoods. They sued the police department and won equal rights as white officers. When we stood up and challenged racism at the St. Petersburg Police Department, it was not easy. A monument in front of the development on the site of the old police department will honor Leon and the others. It's immersive, it's beautiful, it's love, it's light, it's really the spirit of all these courageous men. Tampa interdisciplinary artist Yala Ford designed the monument. Its renderings just released today. This one is just special. I think it hits on the soul. I think that when you're trying to dig into the soul of a space, these this is what matters. I think that this builds our foundation. I'm told the monument for the Courageous 12 should be ready for people to view in about a year or two, and the hotel will be up after that. In St. Pete, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.